find the change in time. Jack started playing his Game Boy at 12 o'clock until bedtime two hours later. What time is Jack's bedtime? So let's use our scratch pad. If we look at a clock, we know that a clock goes 12. I like to draw the three, six, and nine, and then fill in the other one. So 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it, the hour hand is pointed towards the 12, and Jack's bedtime is two hours after 12. So if we keep going around this clock, we start at 12, we go one hour, we're at one o'clock, and if we go two hours, we're at two o'clock. So it would be two o'clock when it would be Jack's bedtime. Logan went on a walk and left at 12 o'clock. If he returned to find out that it was one o'clock, how long was the walk? Let's look at that clock again. We have 12, three, six, nine, and then we can fill in these other pieces. Eight, nine, 10, and 11. So we know that Logan started his walk at 12 and then he went and came back at one o'clock. So how many hours are in between 12 and one? Well, that's just one hour and there would be zero minutes because the minutes did not change. Alexa is playing outside with friends at 9.30, but has bass guitar lessons at 10.30. Super cool, Alexa. How long does she have to play? Well, let's think at the time. The time is 9.30 and we need to get to 10.30. So our minutes are exactly the same, but look at nine to 10. So how many hours are in between nine and 10? Well, you might know this at the top of your head that nine and 10 are just one hour apart. So this would be one hour and zero minutes to get from 9.30 to 10.30. If Savannah starts listening to a music album at seven and finishes at eight, how long is the album? Well, we can look here and we can look and see that our minutes go from zero minutes to zero minutes. So our minutes are not changing. So we really need to focus here on our hours. So we're going from seven to eight. So we have seven plus certain number of hours gets us to eight o'clock. So how many hours are in between seven and eight? That would just be one hour and zero minutes. Zachary's family is going on a road trip and he is told that they will arrive at 8.30. If they left at 7.30, how long is the drive? So we know that Zach's family left at 7.30, 7.30, and they drove for a certain amount of time, so plus their driving distance. Then they arrived at 8.30. So we have to figure out this distance, how far they drove. Well, if I look here, the minutes are the same. So we know that there weren't any extra minutes, so we can kind of forget about those for a second and focus on the hour. If we're going from seven o'clock to eight o'clock, how many hours are in between? Well, that would just be one hour. So the length of the car ride was one hour and zero minutes. Natalie has to spend three hours doing homework every day. If she starts at 11, when will she be done by? So we're starting at 11 o'clock and she's going three hours. Your first instinct might say, well, I can do 11 plus three and that gives me 14. But that doesn't quite work because if you look at a clock,
the clock doesn't go all the way up to 14. So we start at 12, 3, 6, and 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we know that we're starting at 11 and we're going three hours. So one hour later is 12. Another hour later is one. So there's one hour here, one hour here, and then another hour gets us to two o'clock. So this doesn't necessarily work when we're crossing over 12 o'clock because we start counting over again. So 11 o'clock plus three hours puts us at two o'clock. At two o'clock, Tyler went out fishing. Three hours later, they returned home with two fish. At what time did Tyler go home? Well, Tyler started at two o'clock and three hours went by. So if you think about this, we can try the way that we just did before as an addition sentence. So two o'clock plus three hours equals what? Well, two hours, two o'clock plus three o'clock, three hours equals five o'clock. Now is five o'clock between one and 12? It is, so five o'clock would be okay. It is 6.30 when Caleb calls his friend Aiden to come over and play. Aiden says he can't come over until 7.30. How long does Caleb have to wait? So it's 6.30 when Caleb calls Aiden. Hey Aiden, how's it going? You wanna come play? And Aiden might have some homework or chores or have to eat dinner and can't come over until 7.30. So a certain amount of time passes between 6.30 and 7.30, and we have to figure out that time. So I'm looking here at our minutes, and 6.30 and 7.30 both have 30 minutes. So instead of focusing on the minutes now, we can focus on the hours. How many hours are between six o'clock and seven o'clock? Well, just one hour and zero minutes. So Caleb doesn't have to wait too long, just an hour for his friend Aiden to come over and play. Mia is out playing with friends at 9.30, but has bass guitar lessons at 11.30. How long does she have to play? Well, it's 9.30. She can play for a certain amount of hours. So plus a certain amount of hours, and that's gonna get her to 11.30. So we need to figure out the time difference between 9.30 and 11.30. Well, 9.30 and 11.30 both have 30 minutes, so we can just focus on our hours. So how many hours are between nine o'clock and 11 o'clock? Well, if we go from nine o'clock plus one hour gets us to 10 o'clock or 10.30, and then 10.30 plus one hour gets us to 11.30. So there are two hours or one plus one, two hours between 9.30 and 11.30. Andrew is playing with his friends at 9.30, but has bass guitar lessons at 11.30. How long does he have to play? Hmm, I think I remember seeing these exact numbers in that last problem, 9.30 to 11.30. We can look at it this way as 9.30 plus one hour gets us to 10.30. And then if we're at 10.30 and we need to add an hour, what time does that get us to? 10.30 plus one hour. Well, that gets us to 11.30. So how many hours did we add? Well, let's look here. We added one hour and one hour. So one hour plus one hour is two hours. Nice job finding the change in time.